Hello everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and I have with me Carmen today. Um, Carmen comes in with a very interesting presentation. She was initially seen by one of our therapists uh, in one of our other offices for cervical spine pain and headaches, right? You're having neck pain and headaches. She's also had this progressive loss of balance uh, in coordination. She's starting to shake a little bit. She also had an episode a couple years ago where she had surgery, lost a considerable amount of weight, lost about 50 pounds over the last two years, and she's weighing, what, about 94 to 95 pounds right now? And, uh, no, I weigh 102. Right? Oh, you're always, so you've gained a little bit there no, lately. Bit, okay, yeah. great. Um, and so, uh, we're, we, we started to evaluate her neck, noticed that uh, doing a cervical spine clearing and doing some neurologic testing, found some unusual presentation. So what I'm going to do first is just kind of show you what we found. Um, and then the other questions we had was, do you have a family history of MS, Lou Gehrig's disease, you haven't been out of the country, foreign country, no. you haven't been bit by a tick or anything like that. No. Um, so nothing unusual there. So. I'm going to have you relax that arm and I'm just going to check her C7 here. And you can see she kind of reacts. Even her, um, her lats kind of kick in here and she gets uh, really kind of hyper reflexive down in this area. It's a very unusual presentation. I'm going to check her biceps. I need you to relax. C5. We're hyper reflexive there. C6. Okay, so see how quickly she reacts there. So from there, she had the same presentation on that side. Then we went down here because she's hyper reflexive, we thought we would do the lowers. Okay, and she is quite reactive. And notice she has kind of a little clonus there with that. S1, we do her reflex, and she even develops clonus on the left side when we do that. Okay. And if I give her a little dorsiflexion really quick, it really fires up. And she even goes, she gets a little hypertonic there. So that will calm down after a little bit. Her sensation is good, upper and lower extremities. Um, she has a negative cervical spine compression test. She doesn't quite like extension of the cervical spine. That does give her some uh, trouble up here. She's been having some issues with her eyes over the last year to two years, and they've been dealing with that, and that seems to be a little bit better now with the yeah. proper glasses. Um, so the last thing I wanted to show you is that because she has hyperreflexia and she has positive clonus, I want to make sure that uh, I want to check her, her Hoffman's. So I need you to really, really relax this arm. And Andy, you might want to get in close on this one here. So I'm going to just hold the end of her finger. I'm going to flick the middle finger. And you can see how the index finger flexes. And she's not very relaxed right now, but a while ago, really relaxed, it really showed up. And uh, she has that on the other side also. We tried a Babinski of the uh, foot, but she's really ticklish, so it's really hard to see if her toes are up going or down going. But our concern right now is that she's had this loss of weight, which might have been related to the surgery. She's had some cervical spine pain, which gave her a lot of headaches, and that has improved with some therapy. But because of all of these other signs of an upper motor neuron lesion, uh, we need to get her over to a neurologist and or a physiatrist, have some testing done to make sure she doesn't have a significant cervical uh, spinal cord compression um, and or a, uh, some sort of a lesion of the spinal cord or brain. Uh, she has had an MRI done to her brain not too long ago because they suspected a TIA and um, you know they didn't show anything else or didn't mention anything else during that MRI. So I think uh, a neurologic exam is going to be very important here and further diagnostic testing. So I thought you'd appreciate uh, seeing the clonus, Hoffman sign and hyperreflexia and how that kind of paints a certain picture and gives us a direction on where we need to go with her. Thanks.